Hey guys, so in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to edit maps using Tiled, uh, which is the awesome free software that you can download um, uh, online. It's also an open source project. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to close that file by the way, is I'm going to go to Make Games, and then I'm going to create a new game, and then let's just choose a blank template. And here is a bunch of different tile sheets that I, that I can choose from. So I'm going to go and just choose the neighborhood and create the game. So uh, my game is being created, and here it is. And uh, let's play the game. It's loading. Um, just so you guys know, the reason that I'm recommending uh, you to use Tiled is it is a superior tool um, against the, the, the given tool that we provide in our editor, which is... Uh, Whoops, uh, which is this. So you can edit the map using our um, built-in tool in Mod.io and you can modify um, textures and stuff like that using our palette. So take a look, you can do stuff like that. But it's kind of laggy. Uh, there's a lot of optimization that we can put in. So meanwhile, we recommend that you use Tile and I'll show you how to do it. So, um, so first, First thing first, uh, let's take a look at what the game's like. So this is the the game that we just created uh, like 20 seconds ago. Uh, you can move around, um, and so this is the template. Now, what we can do is first we can download the map to our computers. So we're gonna go to um, map, and then we're gonna download the map assets. So that's been downloaded. We're gonna open it up. And um, next thing that you should have ready is the software Tiled. And you can download Tiled for free online. And I'll show you how to do that right away here. Um, so you can go to Google. Let's go to Google. And you can search for Tiled, oops, Tiled Map Editor. Okay, and then you can see that the first result is Tiled Map Editor. And again, it's free, and I use Mac, but this comes for both PC and Mac. So um, yeah, just try to download the latest version of Tile. Uh, it's free, just click on download, and uh, um, you don't have to pay for it. If you want to pay for it, by all means, go for it, but you can just say zero dollars or no thanks, just take me to the downloads. And you can download Tile uh, for your OS. So they got all for Linux, Mac, Windows, and so on. Um, so once you download it, install it, and run it, uh, it looks something like um, it looks something like what? Where is it? It looks something like this. And uh, remember the file that we just downloaded. So let's go find that. Uh, right. So this was a file. Uh, so there's two files inside that compressed zip file. One's map JSON, and the other one is tile complete. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag map.json into the tile app to load it. And what it's going to say is, hey, I, I, I don't know where the tile sheet is for this um, map.json. So what you do is you need to point that tile set, which is also inside that folder. So there's a tile sheet image file, right? So you have to um, point toward that tile sheet. So uh, click on locate file. And then uh, just pinpoint that file, which uh, it's not this one. It's uh, up there. Whoops. Okay, there you go. So, and then click on tile sheet complete.png. So, you loaded the tile sheet, uh, save it. I'm going to close this tile editor, and then here, here's your map. So, it's loaded. And um, there's a bunch of different commands that you can use in tile. You can do stuff like zoom in, zoom out. Um, and then you can like use brush. Where's the brush? Yeah, so I'm actually using the brush tool right now. Um, and then you can choose different tiles to paint with. Okay, so you can edit it however you like. Uh, one thing you have to make sure is that the layers are, the layers must be in this order. So trees, walls, debris, which is an object layer. Uh, it has a different icon to indicate that. And then floor two and floor layer. So these are different depths. So uh, depending on which layer you choose while you use the brush, 
Um, so let's say if I use trees and then um, I use, uh, let's say, this thing like, uh, uh, let's see if I use this. If I, because I'm using trees layer, it's going to paint over other layers uh, in the game. And if I use um, a flow layer, and then let's say I use something like water, um, it's going to paint underneath other layers, as you can see. See that? So these are the different depths, and again, it has to be in this specific order, and the names has to be matching. And uh, let's say you edit the map um, using different tools like paint and stuff like that, whatever. Let's say once you're done, what you do is you save it, okay? And then you can upload the file back to uh, the game itself. So you can go update map JSON. And whoops, what just happened here? Let me just make it small again. Okay, so we'll update the map JSON file that I just saved. And then click on save and go yes. And I'm gonna reload the page. And as you can see, now map is now modified as how I edited it in Tile. So that's the basic of how you can modify the map. Uh, you can do other stuff like um, changing the tile sheet itself. So you can do that by um, going to the map. And so this is the tile sheet image file, right? So let's say if you wanted to modify that, right? So I'm going to use my favorite um, image editor. And then I'm going to open the tile sheet file. So this is a one, this is a different tile sheet, but so like you can modify the tile sheet. So like for example, if you wanted to make more grass for a particular tile set or whatever. So you can modify tile sheet and then you can save it and then you can upload it using this tool saying uh, uh, there's a button for changing tile sheet. And then make sure the dimensions are matching for the width and height. Uh, of the each tile and you upload the file and then once you do it it's going to reflect on uh, the map actually you know what why don't we actually edit the correct image for this particular example so I open a new tile which is the one that's been used I remember using this particular um, this one right here Right, because I um, added a bunch of them right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this tile to, let's say, a smiley face. So what I can do is um, I can get rid of it and then draw a smiley face. All right, kind of creepy, but it's been updated. Now, if you look at tiled, you can see that they're already replaced by the smiley faces. So. Uh, what you do is now, um, in, without having to upload, uh, that's my dog right there. Hello. That is. Um, you can upload uh, the image um, with the, the updated image file. And we're going to go submit. And we're going to save it. Okay. And then you can see that the map has been updated with. The smiley faces. You see that? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to republish the game to see if the game map has been changed. And let's take a look. All right, so now we got the smiley faces. So yeah, that should cover the basics of how to use Tiled with Mod.io. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section. I will read them. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.